in way, uh, and in a, in a way that is uh, uh, that actually deals with what we're seeing at the border, and that's why you've seen the parolee program be so successful. Uh, it has it has um, it has uh, uh, when it comes to illegal migration, you've seen it come down uh, by more than ninety percent, and that's because of this act, the actions that this president has taken. That's the White House press secretary talking about her boss's immigration policy. The administration's own numbers show that statement that illegal immigration is down 90 percent to be objectively untrue. Nearly every month over the past two years, we've set a new record for illegal immigrants coming across the southern border. Today, she clarified, saying that she was talking about some obscure statistic relating to illegal immigrants placed on parole from specific countries. You be the judge of what she said. In a larger sense, this really is about all these people coming across the border illegally. And you can't blame them in a way, because they are only following the promises of America's leaders. And the fact is, I've made it very clear. Within 100 days, I'm going to send to the United States Congress a pathway to citizenship for over 11 million undocumented people. When babies are being put in cages, and children separated from their parents in the name of border security, justice for immigrants is on the ballot. We have strong arms that will embrace those who are being hurt. That's who we are. That's how my great, great grandfather, great three, four greats back got here. <laughs> now the Biden administration is following the past three administrations before it, planning to deploy the National Guard to the border, 1,500 troops. We'll go there starting next week. The move comes nine days before the administration ends Title 42. That's the pandemic era program allowing for quick deportations of thousands per month. Thus, when Title 42 ends, it's likely more and more will come. Lieutenant Chris Oliveris is down in Mission, Texas, Texas Department of Public Safety, uh, who has Operation Lone Star on the border. Lieutenant, it's always good to see you. We appreciate it. It's been too long. I I'm thinking about these 1,500 troops. Is that sort of tacit admission by the Biden administration that there's going to be thousands upon thousands upon thousands of extra people coming over? Well, it definitely does. Lee. And of course, also undermines uh, their claims that the border is secure and that their plan is working. So if the border is secure, then why would you need 1,500 U.S. troops uh, to make their way to the border? And really, all they're going to be doing, uh, leading this babysitting, uh, from what I read, of course, you know, data entry, which is another another term for processing and, of course, transporting people that are coming across the border. But they're not going to actually stop the flow of people that are coming across. Really, all they're going to do is just process, transport and release them as quickly as possible to avoid any negative optics, of course, coming from the media that they would see thousands coming across the border. So that's really what it is. And, of course, it's only temporary. So it's, it's a temporary fix. And that's not even a fix because it's not going to solve the, the, the situation that we're seeing at the border right now. Live pictures right now from El Paso, a little bit uh, west of where you are. There's a church there where 800 to 1,000 illegal immigrants who have been released by the Border Patrol will sleep tonight as they make their way uh, back into to parts of the United States, essentially on a pinky promise, right, that you, you get picked up by Border Patrol, you claim asylum, they give you a, a piece of paper that says appear here in, in months or years and, and go on your way. Then they end up at the church in every town in America. Until that stops, does the flow of immigrants across the border ever stop, no matter how many troops there are? It's not going to stop. You know, as long as that there's no there's no consequences in place as far as from the federal government to stop the flow from people coming across, they're going to continue coming. I was in Brownsville, Texas earlier this morning. Of course, that's right now, that's the epicenter of where we're seeing 2,000 plus that are coming across daily. The majority are Venezuelans and a lot of them are single adults. And when I talked to some of them, they told me that the reason why they're coming right now, they're not waiting for Title 42. They're coming right now because they have friends and families that have made it across the border and they've been released to the country. And that's why they're coming across. The CBP-1 app um, is not working as intended. And that's why they're frustrated because there's, long, there's a long wait time. So they figure, well, I'm going to cross the border between the ports of entry and get released just like my family and friends have done. So that's why we're seeing that right now. And that's why the numbers continue to increase along the southern border, as well as the southwest border in El Paso. And you have migrants that are sleeping in the streets, children. That's not a, a humane way or a controlled way to solve this, this problem at the border. It actually it's, it's completely goes against what the federal government has been saying, that they're trying to have a more humane process, which completely 
goes against that. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.